Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. As promised, this is the second video related to iSierra Hackintosh installation. So in this video we are going to activate uh, network and audio. That was the those were the two things not working on the, on this installation. So um, if it this is the first time you are installing Hackintosh probably you don't know how to install cached and how to get uh, install the bootloader directly into the hard drive so this video is for that okay so as you, if you didn't notice in the pen drive in the image provided by the Brazilian community Hackintosh community there are three folders inside one folder and inside those folders we can find kernel extensions so these ones are for network LAN and okay so those are in zip we have to extract and inside there is a cast kernel extension okay so as i told you these ones are to the network card so you need to know which one is the ideal for your motherboard network card so you need to google and or go to your motherboard website and check your your devices okay so we also have another other softwares and and more cache in that will help you to configure your Hackintosh okay all these utils provided by the Hackintosh Brazilian community okay so I told you in the first video to copy Clover configuration, configurator, and Clover installation file. Because uh, if you don't have um, network, uh, you cannot download here. So put it up in a pen and move it to the desktop. I will also be sharing these files that I'm be we uh, will be using during the post installation. So if you didn't see the first video, uh, check my other videos. The, the the other one was posted I think two days ago, and there you can find the link to download the the image that you can create the pen drive to install. Uh, Mac OS I Sierra. Okay, so this is the Clover configurator. You can move it to the utils folder. Okay, so enter your password. Okay, so the Clover configurator enable us to configure uh, the, the clover itself how it works what do you want to enable or disable okay so we need to mount the e5 partition of our pen drive so if you see below this one is our pen drive so mount partition enter your password and now we have the file partition from the pen drive with Clover already installed from the image we created the pen drive. So this bootloader is working for me, so I will use this one. But first, I will show you what's inside. Okay, so this is Clover, Clover with all the folders, and here. Is that we have the required kernel extensions in order to boot okay so probably some of these 
you will not need but uh, most of the cache inside you will will be required okay so right click and open with clover configurator okay so this is a text file that can be edited in in the notepad or another editor text editor but this tool was created to be more user friendly so here we can enter boot flex for clover as you, as you can see we have verbose we have another ones those ones are the ones already uh, set up in the config list of our pen drive okay so I'm not an expert on in clover configurator I'm just showing you if you are seeing this for the first time what can be done here okay so if you do some research if you have some things that needs to be uh, set up in con config po point list you will do it through clover configurator okay some sometimes you will find in forums some uh, print screens with the clover configurator so you you will need to do this and after that you will save the file okay so here is the sm bios so this is where you define what kind of mac clover will mimic okay so you can select from the entire list but remember you have to select a current or an updated mac and here you can change the serial so you need to to select a Mac that is the most compatible with your hardware okay and should be a recent Mac if you choose a, an old one it will not run ICR okay so and if you can if you somehow cannot save directly into the pen drive you can move it to the desktop and you can edit from there okay other thing that I suggest is to create a secondary pen drive with Clover Configurator and you can, can do all the testing on that second drive so if something goes wrong you have always the your boot pen drive okay we also can change the team for Clover we can install drivers Okay, so if you want to learn more about Clover Configurator, you have to do some search. Okay, so for this video, I'm just showing you how to mount the file partition, and if you want to change the SM BIOS, how you can do it. Okay, that is how you do it. So normally, I select an iMac or a Mac Pro. Don't, for, don't select one of those old ones if you want to install Mojave or ICR okay it will not run because it's not compatible anymore so now we need to to install Clover into our hard drive so first as I told you this uh, Clover installation is working for me so I will copy I will do a backup in my desktop because something if something goes wrong I can back up and start again with an EFI clover partition that will work okay so we don't need the the pen drive anymore so eject and now open clover click twice continue 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 and select your hard drive I will now eject also my pen drive with the files I have, all, I have everything on the desktop so select customize if so and select install to web file okay so here you can change the team select drivers everything 
okay then to act if you if you select those options it, it will gi give you a, a brief description on the window below okay this is how you install clover so you also need to google and learn which options are the right ones for you so okay we just install it clover to the hard drive and as you can see there is a new partition uh, there is a partition with ify clover inside so if you pretended to if you intended to use this one you should have to copy those casts to the file others okay but we will be using the one from the pen drive so for me it's working I will use these ones one thing that I normally do I create a folder with the name because normally I have more than one disk in my computer and this way I know that I'm open the correct ify and not changing one from another disk you don't need to do that okay this is just me organizing how I do a Kintosh because I have in my computer sometimes I have several several disks and several installations. I have Mojave, I have ICR, I have others. So this is another tool that I will be linking and it will be available for download uh, that will enable you to mount uh, if I partitions directly from the toolbar. Okay. So it's really easy. You just click select the DR drive and click mount. Okay, it will be available in the video description for download so now we have uh, our hard drive will be bootable we don't need the, the pen drive anymore I will show you where the system keeps the kernel extensions so here all the kernel extensions used by our Mac okay so and if we want to activate network and audio those casts should be placed inside that folder but we cannot drag and drop because it will not work okay for that we will use that tool called called the uh, guest utility okay it will run some scripts and it will give permissions etc so we can delete directly from extensions but we cannot add directly we have to use this tool there are other methods but this one it's the easier easy the easy way of doing that okay so probably you will also find installations that come in package pkg file so for those ones you just need to click and it will be installed in the right folder I was saying that if you have to activate more than one thing do one at a time okay so uh, install the audio cast restart your computer and if it works okay really good proceed with another cast for another problem if it it do, doesn't work for you delete that cast and try another one okay so don't add a ton of casts inside the over machine because some can create kernel panic and your computer or your mac installation will not boot anymore okay so if you do one at a time you will know which one is causing the problem okay so I was changing the mouse movement just to show you that uh, the file okay all done 
so all the process were done and we are now installing HDMI audio cast and as you can see it was installed and it's here let me change the mouse okay so as you can see the guest was was installed so we took care of audio this is like drivers in windows okay so in mac they are called cached kernel extensions now i'm installing a package for the realtek network card and i hope that the, the network will also be activated so don't forget if you like my videos if you, this video is being useful to you if you are learning from me to give this video a thumbs up check uh, my other videos and give me ideas for more tutorials request help if, if i know and if i can help you i will reply or other user will reply to your comment on the video so don't be shy um, i have several machines running akintosh i've been installing akintosh since 2008 starting with leopard and now i have mojave and always without uh, problems doing installations okay uh, but I'm not a professional but uh, I also have no issues installing Mac on my machines okay so now we can shut down our Mac and we will restart without the pen drive so don't forget you need to configure your BIOS to go directly into your hard drive now as you can see we don't have three because with the pen drive we had three options now we are booting from the hard drive we have two options the hard drive and the recovery partition uh, it's possible to hide the, the one that says reco recovery and probably I will do a tutorial on how to hide the um, partitions or disks from clover option okay it's really easy also if you have two drives and you have uh, windows installing the other one it will show in clover in clover to be chosen to boot from okay so we are booting from for the first time from the R drive directly without the pen drive and now let's test if we have sound yes it's working it's enabled we have output and we have input okay great now let's check network green connected so it's also working really nice so i think i have a fully working mac or akintosh so this is my portuguese channel i also do videos in portuguese so if you speak portuguese you can check my other channel i have more videos there than here because i express myself better in portuguese than in english okay so don't forget to subscribe this channel give it a like leave your comment below tell me if you succeeded to install in your machine and I will leave all these utilities and casts for you to download uh, and I forgot to tell you that I deleted uh, this one I deleted from system library extensions okay sometimes we have to delete this one in order to 
our our cast sound to work okay and also i replaced the the cast sound i installed it in the the first in the beginning of the video by this one the voodoo hda this one is working and this one the red one is not working so i will be deleting this one and so if somehow your audio is not working after the guest being installed try to move it to the desktop and restart without it and if you need it replace it with guest install so this is my mac fully working i hope you like the video and i catch you in the next one